Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we are going to review Treverton Coal Hills. When you pull up, you're going to see this hill, and it's going to be mammoth, so don't be intimidated. We were able to find a trail on the back end that took us up at not so steep an angle. It's great views up there, and you can see everything you need to see. Of course, there is a very steep end, and leave that for the professionals or the dirt bikes. But, there's plenty to ride here. You can do your high-speed haul roads, some gravel and dirt roads in through the woods, and you can get some tighter trails in through the pines and the trees. They're all over the place. And if you really want to, you can just bushwhack a new trail. We found uh, a somewhat of a trail going up into the woods with a little more rocks, but it was fun, and it was a beautiful day out, so we enjoyed it. We did make it up to the top, and we recommend that you do as well. Well, here we are at Coal Hills. Pretty fun, and if you're an extremist, you're gonna go crazy, because the hills are insane. We thought the 500 was high. Well, no, <laughs> these are real hills. So we're here at Coal Hills and we're gonna try to get over to the flats. So we put the drone up and we were able to see further down the hill, others enjoying the switchbacks going up and down, a little less steep than some of the other methods of going up. But there were all different types of riders, all different experience levels, and it is an awesome sight to see the size of this. But there are trails that circle the mountain, if you want to call it a mountain, the big hill. I'm sure the locals have other names for this hill and different slopes and names, but we ran into some people who were enjoying some of the smaller and some of the larger hills. And what goes up must come down. Everybody was having a good time. The parking lot is a decent size. This is only a small portion. It has other tiers and there's plenty of places to load and unload. And of course, as we said, if you go up, you must come down. So there are some tight spots where it's a little bit of a precipice, but just as you got up, you can come down and it's really not that bad. We recommend that you at least go and check the whole ridge out. There are some further down the end, which are not as steep, and you can get up at multiple locations so you don't have to go up the side of the mountain if you don't want to. I know dirt bikes and sport quads are probably more likely to go up, but side by sides. We have the lower land here. Lots of water, lots of mud, and there's plenty of places to explore in the woods. And you can also take one of the trails over to the flats, which is an adjacent trail system, which we're going to review in our next episode. So do yourself a favor and at least go out and visit Treverton. It's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes past all the other FRO properties, but it's worth the trip. So thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.